it's so nice to actually be back. Um, I hope that I see all my kitties here that was part of the lesson the previous term um, because I'm only going on where we left off. So, um, and I think even if you're joining now, you can really learn something. We're going to start with verklanging and then English diminutives um, and then work through the rest of the PowerPoint slide. So welcome back. It's a uh, privilege to teach you again. Um, I'm teacher Melissa, teacher Pinar, um, and I'm going to start the lesson officially now. I'm going to switch over to Afrikaans. Goed, ons gaan vandaag bykie kyk na verkleining, diminutives. Um, remember in the previous lesson we did um, plurals and we did um, klankleer, where we listened, uh, well, we, where we um, learned about um, vokale en consonante en so on. So we're going to, to um, start with verkleining or diminutives today. And that means, where is that mouse? Um, that refers to to make something small. So for instance, a tafel key, a stool key. And also, and it's usually used with nouns. For instance, uh, um, what, um, so it's for example, a tafel of stool, which is nouns, tafel key, um, wurmpy, and so on and so forth. So those uh, are the sounds that you can associate with diminutives. Please take um, snappies of the PowerPoint as we go along for yourself for your own reference okay so i'm going to give about two seconds there if you want to take a picture quickly take a picture so it's to make something small for clanging diminutives to make something small it's used with nouns usually self-standige naamwoorde and the sounds there is chi ye e p h e and ki there you go right let's officially start this is belangrijk um so look at what I've written here. The word clang is sometimes used with the diminutive. A clang tafelki, a clang kanki, a clang stuki. You understand there? And then uh, hopefully some of you've got this book, Afrikaans Handbook and Study Guide, an English Student's Guide to Afrikaans. I'm quickly going to run through the um, the photos that I've taken here. I hope it's clear to you all. This is for klein word diminutives, and um, you'll see the the groot word when when a word ends or has vowels ends um, ends with vowel with a vowel in, and then ends with a consonant. Say for instance, kop. Um, o is the vowel and P is the consonant. Then you can see there um, the consonant doubles and you get an E at the back. So words ending on a K, a P, a G and an S. And there's a vowel in front of it. You get um, the, the consonant doubles and it gets an I, E, E at the back. Then when a word ends with a short vowel, a O E, for instance, and it ends on the word N, man, son, pen. You see there. Then the consonant sound sounds double and it gets an etchy. So if there's a short vowel and the word ends with a short vowel and then there's a, um, an N at the end, the N doubles and it gets an etchy. All right. Double vowels or two syllables, and then it ends with an R. Look there, the word flur, that's a double vowel, and it ends with an R. Flur chi, it gets a chi. Boot a fenster. You see there, the E and the R, then it gets a fenster key. Please, guys, um, just chat me, uh, chat with me in the chat box if you, if you don't understand. Um, something and then i'll also at the end of the lesson will give you my email address and if you ever struggle with uh, with one uh, with the work that we've done please just email me at the end twin vowels if you see the words with the twin vowel up ruk nief you see the twin vowels and um, when it becomes a diminutive one of the twins fall away and it gets an e so up rp ruk ruki Nief, nief, do you see there? One of the twins fell away and it gets an I at the back. Then long vowels in the end, if there's a long vowel and uh, the N at the end, boon, long vowel, N at the end, then it gets a chi. Boon, boinki. Tone, long vowel, ends with an N, 
chanky. Any word in Afrikaans ending with a T gets ye. Um, you know what? Words that ends with a D as well. Words that ends with a D and a T and it gets a ye at the back of the word. Cut, kaiki. Hoot, wiki. Do you see there? Boot, boot, ye. Mont, mont, ye. Right. Double vowels or consonants. If there's a double vowel and a consonant, double vowel consonant, it gets an IE. Nears, near C. And then short vowel plus an L. Short vowel A, and it ends with an L. The L doubles, baliki, and it gets an ECHI. Roll, the L doubles, ECHI at the end. Any word ending with a D, as I said, gets a Y at the back. Short vowel plus an M. If there's a short vowel, look there. SOM, short vowel that O, and it ends with an M. SOM, the M doubles, and it gets an ECHI. SOMIKI, REM, REMIKI. Double vowels or two syllables plus an L. Double vowel. Um, you see there the U sound with an L at the back. Stu, Chi. Tafel, Chi. Rondavel. And that's syllables, guys. Do you see there? If there's one syllable word, ring is one syllable. And it ends with ing for instance or um ang or ong then it gets an etchy at the end ring do you see there one syllable word it ends with an ing it gets an etchy at the end slung ang it's one syllable word slung etchy take snappies of this guys it's very important to know this rules when you're writing a test short vowel plus an r if there's a short vowel plus an r Car, you see the short vowel plus an R at the end. The R doubles and it gets ecchi. Star, short vowel R, the R doubles. Stary, chi, and it gets an ecchi sound. Long vowel, double consonants, two or more syllables. You see the boom. It's a long vowel, ends with an M, boom, P. Um, just interesting for, for yourself. If a word in Afrikaans ends with an M, like for instance, arm, scalum, Boom, it always gets a P at the end. Do you see it there? Boom, boom, P. BSM, that's a two syllable word. BSM, it ends with an M, it gets a P. Aram ends with an M, it gets a P in diminutives. All right, and then two or three syllables, words with two or three syllables. Kuanung, do you see there? Two syllables. Fish kuanung, three syllables. Um, if it ends with an I and G, it gets a key. So the G falls away. In Afrikaans, there is a saying, a chocha stani langs a kuningni. In other words, a G never stands next to a K. You see that the G fell away there. So if a word, a word ends with um, I and G, the G falls away and it gets key. There's only one, oh, well, there might be in a um, but I know of one um, uitzondering in Afrikaans. The word rekening kinder. Or it ends with an ing. Um, well, it doesn't end with an ing. Sorry, I've been babbling now. Rekening kinder. Um, that's one of the, the uitzonderings where the G and the K stands together. But it has actually nothing to do with diminutives now. But it's just something that I wanted to share with you guys. Okay. Um, let's get back to diminutives. Words ending with an E. Mein key. Urluasi will be mainki chi. So it already seems that it's a, that it is a um, diminutive, but we'll make it even more small. Mainki chi. Urluasi eindig met the i. Urluasi chi. So you see there, the chi sound next to the or the i e sound next to the chi. Ending in an emphasized short vowel ma. Do you see the ma? is an emphasized short vowel, which say which sounds like it's a long R. Name ma platu hurra. Do you see it's long sounds? Um gets a chi, but it's a afkappings chi. Do you see there? Plurals, honde, hoinkis, boome, boom pis. So if word ends um on a plur if it's a plural sound and it, it ends on a um vowel, then it usually gets a G or an S at the end. Letters of the alphabet. Um, this is not one A, this is an I key. 
This is not B and this is B a key. So letters of the alphabet always get a afkappings G at the end. Then ex uh, exceptions, blood, word blah key. So this is important. Always study exceptions in Afrikaans because that's a way of um, actually um, catching you out in, a, in an exam or a test. Okay, guys, take quickly take a snappy. I want to get on to the to the um, to the rest of the lesson. All right, I'm going on. So let's um, quickly then answer a few questions here. Um, in the chat box, if you can answer this to me, Giri verkleining van die volgende woorde. Father, father key. It will be father key. Look there. So I'm going to quickly do the first one with you. So if I want to make father key small, it will be father key. Look there. It is a short vowel ending on a R, then it gets a G. Moeder. What do you think that one's going to be? Quickly type in the chat box for me, please, guys. I see where we're nine. Let's make um, let's make this a lacquer lesson. So in the chat box, give me the answer for number two, please. Anyone? JC, Savannah. I remember some of these names. Wendy, Angelina, Anna. Let's see, guys. Let's see if you can actually give me the answer there. I'm sure you can. You're all very clever. <laughs> And we all participated nicely in the previous lesson. Um, so what would the answer for number two be? Let's see. Type or I can unmute you. Let's go to Jesse. Can you give me the um, the answer? So much over the microphone, as I believe. What would mother be as? Yes, JC. Correct. Do you want me to send you the sign of like what uh, the picture that I sent you so you can send it to him so you can sign off? Um, yeah, it's fine. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay. Wendy. <laughs> What would the answer be here? Mudder? Mudder? Mudder chi. Mudder chi, does say, and it will have a chi. Nay. Okay, thank you so much. Um, guys, Jesse, what would number three be? Kinder gesig would be, remember now, it's a, it's a vowel ending with a G. So what's going to happen with that G? Kinder gesig? Anyone? Uh, what are you typing this? Savannah? Hello? Kinder Gesegi. Um, sorry, Wendy, can you perhaps unmute me, please? Wendy? Wendy? <laughs> please unmute me. Okay, let's quickly see. Kinder Gesegi. So the G doubled and it got an IE. Who's speaking now? Wendy? Please unmute me. How is this Ronaldo? You got six. This is six now. You said Ronaldo's got. Uh, he doesn't even need symptoms. Okay. Ballon would be balloniki. Do you see that? It's an uh, O, it ends with an N. Balloon itchy, the end doubled. But this is one of those exceptions. Pi key. Tronk, tronky. It's an NK at the back. It just gets an E. Young means, young means C. Pryk, pryk key. Dance, dance C. And lever, lever chi. Take a snappy, take a snappy of this. This is a lacquer exercise for you to do before an exam.
or a taste. All right, I'm quickly going to go to the next slide then. Okay, so this is a very important part of Afrikaans learning. Trappe van vergelijking, degrees of comparison. So this is what we're going to focus on now. And there's a few rules here. So when we talk about trappe van vergelijking, we always look at this as steps. Step in would be the stallende trap, which is the normal um, uh, the gewone form van die byvoeglike naamwoord. So that's the normal form of the word. It's usually the normal form of the adjective. Then step two would be the vergrotende trap, which is the comparative form. And usually we just put an ER at the end of the word, uh, at the end of the byvoeglike naamwoord. So for instance, groot would become groter. And then step three is the oortreffende trap, which is the superlative form, as you guys would say in English. And it will usually get an S-T-E, st at the back. So, groot, groter in the vergrotende trap, or grootste at the oortreffende trap. I would like to read through all of this stuff with you while you take a, a, a snappy. Ooh, what was that? Okay. <laughs> okay, so the stellende trap is the gewone form van die byvoeglike naamwoord, which is the adjective, describing something as it is, and a voorbeeld would be groot or opgewonde. So normal um, sound of, of the normal um, form of the word. Die vergrotende trap, comparative, ons sit a ER at the end of the byvoeglike naamwoord, or in some cases, meer voor die byvoeglike naamwoord. Soos bijvoorbeeld, when I compare people or things, voorbeelde, groter, you see I put an ER, and opgewonde, I can't say opgewonderer, it doesn't sound correctly, so I would say meer opgewonde. Dan die oortreffende trap, superlative form, word gevorm dier a st achter aan die woord te sit, of mees aan die einde van die woord te sit, met a e aan die einde van die byvoeglike naamwoord. Focus hier. To compare more than two or people or things, that's what the oortreffende trap is, to compare more than two people or things. Voorbeelde would be grootste, do you see the ste, of mees opgewonde. Look there the E at the back. Do you see that E there? Um, all right, so I'm going to go on to the next slide then. Also a lot of stuff that we can go through. I'd rather you guys take a um, snappy of this and then I can just quickly run through it. Um, um, Mel? Savannah, yes. I'm having trouble to find the page. I have the book with me, but I don't know what page it is. Oh, um, shoot, I don't have my book with me either. Um, um, I think it's more at the beginning of the book. Quickly run to your um, the index Mamet's page. page. Maybe 12. see if you can see it there. Screenshot. Maybe it's page 12. Page 12. Okay, great. Go to page 12. Thank you so much. Who said that? Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, are you fine now? Can I go on? Yes, ma'am. All right, great. Okay, so let's look at Trappe van Vergelijking. In this book, it's a wonderful book. I call it the Bible for Afrikaans um, first additional um, language children because it really shows you everything. So in column A will be the positive form of the word. Column B would be the comparative form. And column C would be my superlative form. All right, so... Words ending on a short, or, or words that's got a short vowel in it. For instance, dick. Do you see the short vowel there? Remember, vowels are again those, the, the rampy that I taught you guys in the first lesson. Arme, ek is opa, ail. Can you remember that? The A, the E, the I, the O. Arme, ek is opa. Hello? I'm hearing somebody there. <laughs> okay. So, if it's got a short vowel, they, um, and it ends with a consonant, then it will be dikker, do you see there? And dikste at the superlative form. Twin vowels, look there, skoon. It's got twin vowels. One of the vowels will fall away at the comparative form. It will become skoonner and it gets an er at the end. And if uh, the normal word will just get an ste on the superlative form. Double vowels or consonants, look there, double vowel. 
consonant, double vowel consonant. At the comparative form, it will get an ER, foil, foiler, and at the superlative form, it will get an STE, ending in an R. Words that end in an R gets a DER. Do you see they fair, further, and at, at, in the comparative form, it gets a DER, and at the superlative form, it only gets an STE. Ending in luck, makkelijk, makkelijker. Do you see there? If it ends, a word ends with an L, a luck, L E K, it gets a ER at this um, comparative form and an STE at the superlative form. And remember again, comparative is when I compare two people or things. Superlative, compare more than two people or things. Okay, ending in an IG, finnig, you see there, it ends with an IG. It gets an ER at the comparative form, and at the superlative form, it gets a stem. A stem. Then, if a word has a short vowel and it ends with a G, sach, short vowel ends with a G, it gets a TER at the comparative form. Sachter, lichter, slechter, and it gets an STE at the superlative form. Sachster, lichter. Are you all still with me? I don't see any hands up. All right. Then a long vowel ending with a, with a G. So you see there is a long vowel. Oor, a, and it ends with an E, with a G, sorry. Wich, it gets a, look there, a deal teken ear. This is important. Guys, if I can give you some advice, make, it, make a little star there if you've got the book. This is something you really have to go and study by heart. Wich will become wer. And why does this happen? The, um, it, it, we use deal tekens, a deal teken ear, gebruik ons altijd wanneer daar a, a syllable is. You see there, laag, laher, it doesn't have one, leeg, leer, droog, droer. This is very important, hoogste, laagste. So the comparative form, when there is a long vowel ending with a G, it usually gets a deal teken ear. Look at the spelling of fruer and moer. You see that the sound doesn't fall away. It only gets a, um, and they'll take an ear by. Okay, a word is a long vowel ending with a D. Long vowel ending with a D, coat. You see there, breed, becomes kouer. Yes, I'm hearing somebody there. Okay, um, it becomes kouer or koutste. You see the D fell away. Breed, breer, look at that deal taken there. Quart, quarter. You see the A fell away there. And quartste. Words ending in an S. And there's a vowel in front of it. Los, boos. Look there, flux. That is a, a, an uitsondering actually. Loser, booser, fluxer. You see there? It doubled with the first word. Ending in a a long vowel, blow, words that end in a long vowel becomes blow, word for, it's in the R, sorry. Mooi, an ER, mooier, moister. I hope you're still with me. Um, short vowel, ending with a short vowel and an F. Grof, you see there, short vowel and an F. Um, and this is important, make a little star here as well. Usually, uh, well, not usually, always, when a word ends with an F, and you're going to make it a, um, a comparative form. You'll see that the F always turns into W's. Grof, grover, grofste. Lof, of lafskis, laver, lafste. Okay. Um, long vowel or consonant with an F, lief, liver. You see there? If there's a long vowel and ends with an F, the F becomes a W. And we get an ER in the comparative form, and in the superlative form, we get a st. Okay, so a leaf st. Then ending in a U, if a word ends with a U, so sli and re, it gets a WER at the comparative form. Sliver, and then ob, um, and then a, at the superlative form, we get a USTE. You see there, sli st, re st. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to really try and take a nicer picture if I work out of this book in the future again, because I see there that's not very nice. Okay, if a word ends with a D-E or an E, um, look there, tevrede, D-E, opgewonde, 
then it gets a meer tevrede om meer opgewonde. Meer tevrede om meer opgewonde. So whenever you see a word end on a de or an e, then you know it gets um, a meer or a meer at the comparative and the superlative form. Okay, are you all still with me? Because I don't see any messages. I don't see any hands up. All right. This is something that you can go and study by yourself. So if I want to test um, how Trappe van Vergelijken works, um, remember that if you compare two or more things, you use the comparative form. If you compare more than two things, you use the superlative form. Um, try to think um, what it would be in English. For instance, always try to find the adjective in the sentence. Now, you guys know, adjective is by voeglijke naamwoord. Number two, if they give you an as, meaning then, they want to compa uh, comparative form. For instance, die sien is groot. Nee? Die groen is groter as, look there. So if, I, if you see the word as in a sentence, then, then you know it, it, the comparative form will be a er. 3a, if they give you who, who, <laughs> for instance, who do not, um, look there, um, who harder die kinders werk, gewerk het, who beter het hulle gedoen, dan kry die, dan gaan die woorde ER kry daar. So if they give you a D before the adjective, you must use the superlative form. Die kinders wat die hardste, jy gaan nie sê die harder werk nie, nee, die hardste werk. Who harder, die had die hoe again, Okay, I hope you guys are all with me. Um, the athlete had finnige haarklip and had makkelijk gewen. Who finniger, look at the comparative form there. The athlete had haarklip het, who makkelijker comparative form had hy gewen. The athlete wat die finnigste, superlijte form, sal die makkelijkste wen, superlijte form. Okay, they may even give you a who, who in a who. Ok, look here. Jy werk hard, daarom is jou resultate goed en jou kinders is gelukkig. Hoe harder jy werk, hoe beter is jou resultate en hoe gelukkiger is jy. Do you see there? All that comparative forms that you get in that sentence. Alright, I'm going to, on to the next slide. I hope that you are all still with me. Please stop me um, if you struggle or just message me. Ok guys. Um, eight sonderings. So this is something that I, I got from a from a very good website in Afrikaans. Um, these are the most uh, well, some of the most important um, eight sonderings in Afrikaans when it comes to the um, in the degrees of comparison. Look there. I'm not going to say goed goedere goedste. I'm going to say goed beter beste. Baie, nie baie her or baie ste nie. It's going to be baie meer die meeste. Biki of men, minder die minste. Biki minder minste. Min minder minste. Dikwils meer male die meeste. That is something that the kids usually struggle with. So, you know, study it by heart now. Dikwils meer male die meeste. Niet, nie ver nietste. Sli, remember what I said there. If it ends with an um, U, it will be a W-E-R. Sliver, sluiste, look there, doubled at the superlative form. Quad, quater, quadste. Look there, the one I fell away got a T-E-R. Quai, quayer, quaiste. Graag, liever, graagste. Study that one by heart. Graag, liever, um, graagste. Lang, langer, langste. Jong, jonger, jongste. Please, guys, study this by heart. I hope you took a snappy. All right, let's start with our exercise. Now, I want to see people participating here because you guys can do it. You are very clever. I'm sure that you can make the best of the situation here. So, I want you to give me the degrees of comparison, the trappe van vergelijking of the following words. And I am going to ask you to rather message it to me or put your hand up and I'll unmute you. So, uh, I'm going to ask you, Savannah, what would be the um, comparative and the superlative form of number one? Finnig. Finnig, what would be the comparative form, Savannah? Can you type it for us there, please? What would be the, the comparative form? Yes, Savannah. Hello. Ma'am, I sent it to you on the chat. Did you send it to me on the chat? I don't see it here. 
Oh my word. Okay, let me just quickly run to the chat again. Okay, sorry, Savannah. I don't see it now. Maybe we should ask our host to quickly help me here. Uh, I don't see it. Um, okay. And the answer yes. is Vinegar and Vinegar. Does say. Okay, thank you so much. Guys, I don't know what's going um, on with my chat here. I think that I'm doing something wrong. I'll ask our host now to help me. Uh, no, okay, well, I'll rather than just unmute you guys. Okay, so Jesse, can you maybe tell me what would more? Uh, thank you, Savannah. Sorry, I didn't even thank you. Um, number two, Moy. Jesse, what would that be? What would that be? Jesse? Hello. What would Moy be? Anyone want to help Jesse there? It will become Moy Yerne and Moister. Okay. Just mute me again there, uh, Jesse, please. All right. Okay. Hart. Let's ask iPhone here. <laughs> Mr. or Mrs. iPhone. What would Hart be? Number three. What would that be? iPhone there. What would Hart be? Name it would be Harter and Hartster. Das say by a mooi. Thank you. That is no good word. Hardste, harder and hardste. Thank you, Mr. iPhone. All right. Um, let's go to uh, Angelina. Can you maybe tell me what number four would be? Blow. What would number four be? Angelina, can you maybe tell me what number four is? Blow. Oh, Angelina. <laughs> okay, let's go to Molihi. I hope I pronounced that correctly. What would blow be? Try, just try, guys. Hello? Okay. Um, I'm going to give you guys the answer there. So blow would become blower and blowster. Who is talking to me now? Okay. No, Biki. This is a very, 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 um, uh, so you must really think about this one. I can't say Biki Rer or Biki Ste. It's going to sound wrong. So, what would Biki be? Let's ask. Min yes. It would be Mindel and the Eminster. Biki? Uh, okay, so Biki will become Biki Mir Miesta. You see there. But thank you so much. Who, who was speaking to me now? Savannah. Savannah. Thank you, Savannah. So it was, it is Biki Mir Meester. Thank you, Savannah. Um, do you want to try the next one as well, Savannah? Aram. Savannah? Ma'am, I would, I would like to give it on to the next person, please, if that's fine. Mm -hmm. You may, it's no problem. Um, let's ask Jesse or Molihi. Um, let's ask the Molihi. What would Aram be? The degrees of comparison, trappe van vergelijking van Aram. What would that become? Okay, Jesse, would you like to say? Are you okay? So Jesse gave us a chat here. Thank you. It would. It is. Uh, he said Aram, but it is. Arm, armer, armster. So you're almost there, dear. 
Kijk, Jesse, opgewonden. Ik kan zeggen opgewonder en opgewondenste. Okay. It is wrong. So what do you think I can um, I can say there? Okay. Um, and then the, the kids bell, I think how many you would be about 16. Savannah, can you perhaps unmute me there, please? Oh, oh mute me, sorry, mute me. <laughs> Man, okay. It would be meer and miss. Dat zei meer opgewonden en meer opgewonden. Thank you, Savannah. All right, let's, um, let's go on. Um, doof, think of what I told you about words that end with an F. Doof, what is it going to be? Angelina, would you like to answer that one? Let's see, anyone. What becomes of a word that ends with an, uh, with an F? I'm going to count till five, then I'm going to go on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, Members are going to have a W. Yes, yes. Who is this? Angelina? Um, iPhone. iPhone. Okay, thank you, iPhone. So it will become Duoverne. You are correct. Thank you so much. And then Duofste. Well done, iPhone. You, you actually listened very well in my class. Okay. Um, let's go to Maklik. This is an easy one. Hmm. Remember what I said, it ends with a I, uh, with a short vowel and a K. It's going to become makkelijker. And what would the last one then be? Makkelijkste. Makkelijkste. Thank you, iPhone. And then this last one is something that you should really think about. It's one of those um, that those catchers. They want to catch you out. Good. What does I'm it lekker. become? Mm -mm. <laughs> Almost there. It's good, better, beste. beste. But thank you, iPhone, for trying. Okay, guys. Um, thank you so much for participating. I'm going. To, oh, I see my lesson is finished. No, but it's too early. It's almost done. Okay. Listen to me, grade sevens. So I'm going to end here for today. I didn't think that we're done yet. Um, tomorrow I'm starting a lesson, which is very, very nice. Now, I don't know how many of you struggle with, um, with parts of speech, which is Wurzwerte in Afrikaans. I am going to start with a part one of that tomorrow. And we're going to work through all the, the Wurzwerte or parts of speech. And then at the end... Um, of, of all the stuff we're going to do an interactive lesson where we're going to um, build something up or something I'm still thinking of what we can do there but please log on tomorrow morning so that we can start with our first part of that lesson and I want to thank you all for participating in my class today good luck with the rest of the classes for today and the rest of the term may you all be blessed I'm looking forward to tomorrow goodbye Bye,